<laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, before I start the pitch proper, I want to first say thank you. It's the, it's the holidays, and you are spending precious time away from your families. So thank you. Uh, my name is Brian Lim. I'm the co-founder of a startup called Hypercubes. And we are after a particularly interesting challenge. The UN predicts that by 2050, there will be 9.6 billion people on this planet. How are we going to provide food, water, and energy to these people in a coming of a climate change environment? There's a lot of questions to be asked, but we think we have an idea on how to get the answer. We have discovered a technology called hyperspectral, and it is going to revolutionize the way we look at the world. Let me show you how it works. Here's an apple. No bigger, no different than anything you get from a supermarket. Now, but if you put it under a hyperspectral camera, it doesn't look so tasty anymore, does it? So here's the little magic. When you look at something with your eyes, you see it in three bands, red, green, and blue. Hyperspectral looks at it in the infrared, and we are now able to put it into 100 bands. This is an enormous amount of information that can tell you so much about what's going on. So let's take it out a little bit higher. Let's go to a farm. Here you have a farm. It's been marked off, colored off. Green is good, yellow is bad for water in the leaves. Not only can I tell you how much water is in the leaves, you can also discern from that where your irrigation is broken or not working properly. Hyperspectral then also allows us to see whether there are pests, whether the plant is sick, and even if your yield is going to be on schedule. Now, if we go out even further out, let's go all the way to space. <laughs> this is an image in hyperspectral of Afghanistan. Afghanistan wasn't surveyed by any means prior to 2007. And we, when this hyperspectral survey was done, this was found. This little green blob is the largest copper deposit on the Eurasian continent. Nobody knew it was there. Hyperspectral finds these things. So here's our plan. We found the hyperspectral technology, and we're going to put it in space on satellites. Now, I know you may think this idea is crazy, but don't worry, it isn't as crazy as it sounds. Maybe it is. For the last 18 months, we've been working on this technology, flushing it out. That plane you see in the photo is the one with the hole in it. I, I promise you, we patched it up. <laughs> this is the result of that flight. We were flying the plane over methane or methane cracks from fracking sites. And you can see here, I've marked it between the two red lines, is the peak detecting it. We can now go to these fracking sites and tell you whether they're within regulation or not, and how are they damaging the environment. You also probably am thinking that space is really, really expensive. And you're rightfully so for a long, the longest time but it's not so much the case anymore. In 2011, Worldview 3 was launched. That was a billion dollar mission. Presidus 1A, 600 million. Skysat, 30 to 40 million. And Dove was a million to build and launch. All this occurred in a span of four years, from a billion dollar operation to a million dollars. That is a 1,000x reduction in the last four years, and it's only getting cheaper. When we looked at that opportunity, we saw something quite incredible. There's a lot of places we can use this technology for and help people with it. However, we have chosen to focus on our most urgent customers and those who need it the most. And that goes to the mining sector. We have spoken to 10 decision makers in the mining sector, and that accounts for approximately 200 mining sites. They are willing to pay between $50,000 to $200,000 per site. Now, the reason why they're willing to pay is because it manages their license to operate. And if they don't have this information on a daily basis, their minds get shut down. We have built a huge partnership. Made in Space is working with us on in-orbital manufacturing to reduce the cost of our satellites. And we have four universities across three continents helping us assemble this technology. Myself, Brian, and my co-founder, Fabio, are no strangers to the challenging. 
I myself am a published medical sensor researcher, a TEDx organizer, and an advocate of the space industry in Australia, with two previous startups behind me. Fabio has been building hardware projects for over 15 years, both in space and in robotics. Our advisors are top-notch as well. Combined, they have over 100 years of experience in building, launching, and managing space operation missions. Now, I want to take a sidestep for a moment. Right now, we're all concerned about the Syrian war. And we all know that this is an issue that has to be solved. What a lot of you may not know is that there was a series of peer-reviewed papers that were published that showed that the Syrian war predominantly was caused by climate change. Climate change created a drought, which forced the farmers to pack up and leave for the city, increasing the social tension, which provided the powder kick for the war to start. We just need $2 million as to begin the process of getting the solution to market. And I just want to leave you with three things. Space is becoming cheaper every day. It is really becoming very cheap. Two, hyperspectral will see in the unseen and all the things you are not seeing with the naked eye. And three, if we cannot measure what's happening to the Earth at the global scale, we cannot manage it. Thank you very much.